Pro, Pro X, and uh, just about everything has been improved and uh, redesigned in this unit, both mechanically and electronically. If we talk about the mechanical parts first, uh, the wall mount has been redesigned. This piece is for the single stud mount. Okay. And uh, if this is great for the cabinet mount, pass through mount, okay, and if you have a sturdy wall, if you need a dual stud mount, we have a mount available. So this is your dual stud mount, 16 inches center. You would mount this on the wall, and then you would mount this to this plate, okay, and that way you get enough uh, stability. Uh, for longer arm lengths. Uh, the arm lengths that we have available is 60 inch, 65, 70, 75, and 80 inch reach. Okay? And, uh, and if you look at the arm, uh, it is larger in diameter. Okay? Our older arm, we had end cap issues and, uh, and some cabling issues. But now, if you look, it's a strong, sturdy metal arm, okay? It is larger in diameter. Uh, if you ever need to replace a wire, you can easily get that mounted. Uh, also, once you remove the cover, uh, you, can, you have a full access to the spring for easy adjustment. Every joint of this arm has a friction adjustment. The wall mount here has an arm adjustment. If the wall is off level, you can easily adjust the arm uh, mm -hmm. with, the, with the bracket here, okay? So we thought everything when we designed this unit. Was there, is there a cylinder in there, a pneumatic cylinder? Or a, no, it's, it's a, a mechanical spring. spring. A spring, okay. Yeah. So you just tighten the, if the arm is drifting, then you just tighten. What cover do you pop off to adjust? This one here. There's one, two, three screw holes. Okay. Yeah, you just put the two and a half Allen key in. And then put the Allen in. Yeah. Is there an adjustment for this? Yep. Tighten this? Yep, right here. There's an adjustment for this, this one? right here. Okay. Improvements made to the tube head? Yes. Okay. If we talk about the electric electrical components here, the circuit board, we are using the latest and the greatest components in it. DC current. Uh, DC of course, yeah. And the tube head, we are using 0.4 millimeter focal spot. Focal spot is the component where the radiation comes out, okay. Smaller that spot is, sharper the image. We are using uh, 0.4. Uh, millimeter focal spot. Okay. Many other x-rays in the market, they are using 0.7 millimeter and the images are not equal to, to the new Pro Max or Pro X. Okay. Okay. Uh, as needed, we can integrate the, the, uh, the intraoral sensor system directly into the unit. Uh, electronic would go right here mm -hmm. and the sensor would connect And this is placing the sensor yeah, in? Yeah, right here. So the sensor ha plugs ha in. However, I don't have the components here now, but it would just connect right here okay. using the magnetic connection. Okay. So when you are done with your sensor imaging, you move the X-ray back on the wall, and the sensor follows the X-ray here. And there would be a holder for the sensor at that point? Up, up. Yeah, of course. Okay. And the sensor looks like this. Okay. One nice feature about this uh, new arm design is that as it is totally draft, uh, drift free, but when you fold it back in, it will lock in place. As you are moving it back to the wall or in a cabinet, it stays there in that position. And that's a great feature to keep it from slamming into cabinetry or other items. Right, so this is the new Pro-X which replaces the old intro unit.